This video is about Porter's generic strategies, also known as Porter's strategic matrix. So Porter's generic strategies are really all about how a business can try and gain an edge over their rivals in what we call a competitive advantage. So that's what we have at the top of the strategic matrix. And according to Porter, there are two overriding approaches to gaining this competitive advantage. You can either do it by going low cost or you can do it by differentiating yourself. And so to look at the low cost half of the matrix first, what we're doing with that is we're trying to keep costs as low as possible. And then generally speaking, that's going to enable us to offer customers lower prices. And that's how we get that competitive advantage. We stand out from the rivals by being really efficient, driving down costs, charging lower prices to customers and standing out from competitors like that. It might also help to widen our profit margins as well if we can reduce our costs um, to a high degree. But ultimately, it's about it's about standing out. And there are two different strategies that could be used as part of that low cost approach. And so that's to do with the left hand side of the matrix, which focuses on the scope of the markets that are being targeted. So you can go for that low cost approach whilst targeting a mass market, everyone within the entire market, or you can do it by targeting a smaller market niche within the wider market. So probably the most obvious way of doing a, a low cost approach is cost leadership. So that's low cost targeting the mass market. So we use economies of scale, high capacity utilization in order to try and be really efficient and keep co our costs low in that way. And so with economies of scale, that's going to help us to drive down our cost per unit because of our large scale of production. Um, and with high capacity utilization, it helps us to spread those fixed costs over more units, which helps us to keep those overall costs down. But we could still go for a low cost approach whilst targeting niche markets. And in doing that, we'd be operating on a smaller scale of production, but trying to make um, cost savings and get those cost advantages where we can. So in that niche market, we could be maybe not necessarily the big innovator who spends a lot on research and development, and we can make cost savings in that way, maybe making a more basic version compared to the original and the big business that has done a lot of the innovation and a lot of the expenditure on that side of things. The contrasting approach to low cost then is to go for a differentiation strategy, which is going to be about adding value by offering products which clearly stand out from your rivals. So that could be by having a really clear, unique selling point, possibly of high quality or really good customer service. And that's then going to enable the business to charge more premium prices as well. And we'll start here with the bottom right of the matrix with the differentiation strategies and think about how we could focus that on niche markets, because that's probably going to be the easier of the two to do if you're going for a differentiation strategy. So that's where we're going to be able to target and respond to specific customer needs within that subgroup of the larger market and probably easier to stand out when you really can get to know your customers and focus on their specific needs. Little bit more challenging would be to achieve a differentiation leadership strategy, which would be differentiation, but also focusing on the mass market. So that's going to be a bit more difficult to justify those higher prices if you're going for a mass market strategy. And I think what will be really key to a differentiation leadership strategy would be having a really strong marketing mix to justify to your customers those higher prices and to still be able to stand out even in a mass market. So strong back, strong branding is really, really important to a successful differentiation leadership strategy.